you how to install Google Assistant onto your Raspberry Pi board as fast as possible just like we have in our AI voice kit. So let's quickly get started. required one Raspberry Pi 3B board, one USB mic, one speaker and one auxiliary cable. I bought this Raspberry Pi 3 kit from UTSource website. So just go to their website, search for this kit and place your order. You will be receiving this amazing kit at your doorstep. So link of this kit is available in the description of this video. So go ahead and buy it. Secondly, I bought this mic and speaker from Amazon whose link is also attached in the description below. Now connect both the mic and the speaker with the Raspberry Pi board. Then first of all, you need to load the latest Raspbian OS onto this SD card and boot up the device. Now the first step is to connect our Pi with the Wi-Fi. You can see I already connected with my Wi-Fi router. Then open the terminal. Now first of all we'll check whether mic and speaker are detected by Pi or not. And the command for that is a record hyphen L for USB microphone and a play hyphen L for speaker connected with the auxiliary cable. Now we need to create a file called .asoundrc so we will type sudo nano .asoundrc and here we will copy and paste this line of code. Now in this code we need to mention the card number and the device number for both mic and speaker. For that save and close this file using ctrl x and then y. Now the card number and the device number for the mic is card 1 and device 0. So we will now open the .asoundrc file and replace the card number for mic with 1 and device number with 0. Now again save and close this file using ctrl x and then y. Now card and device number for speaker is mentioned in the result of a play hyphen l which is card 0 and device 1. So again opening that file and replace the card number for speaker with 0 and device number with 1. Again save and close this file using ctrl x and then y. Now let's just test both of this. Now for testing the speaker you need to copy and paste this command. Now hit enter. Front left front left Front, All right, left, the speaker front, is perfectly front, working. Left. Now, press Ctrl C to exit. Now to test this mic, copy and paste this link and hit enter. Now we'll speak something. Hello world, my okay. name is Sachin. Now to check whether this mic recorded anything, copy and paste this line. Hello world, my name is Sachin. All right, our mic and speaker are perfectly working. Now we will open our browser and we'll go to this link. Here we'll log in with our Google account. Now we'll click on add project. Give a random name like Google Assistant on Raspberry Pi. Select your country. Open a new tab and go to this link. Click on select project. Select all now. Here select the project you just created. Now click on this enable button to enable the Google Assistant API. Then again open a new tab and go to this link. Now make sure you have all the activities already enabled. Now go back to the first tab and scroll down you'll find one button called device registration click on that now here click on register model now here we need to give a random product name just like my google assistant 
and also give a random manufacturer name. In the device type, select auto. Now click on register model. Download the credentials.json file from here. Click on next. Then click on skip. So now we have successfully registered our device. Now we will move this credential file to home slash pi folder. Now for that, click on the show in folder option and then right click, cut this file, then into home slash pi, paste this file. Okay, now open up the terminal and enter these commands one by one. After entering this particular command, you will get one URL. So just copy this URL and paste it in browser. Here you need to select your Gmail account and then click allow to let our device use Google Assistant for that particular Google account. Now here you will get one code which you need to copy and paste inside the terminal. Okay, now copy and paste this particular command. Now here you need to add your project ID and device model ID. For that go to the browser and click on the first tab. So here is the model ID. Simply copy it and paste it in this way. Now for project ID again open your browser. Click on this gear icon. Select project setting. Here you will get your project ID. Simply copy it and paste it like this. That's it. Hit enter button and you are ready to interact with your Google Assistant. So let's just test it out. Okay Google, what is the time right now? It's 2.20. Okay Google, how are you? I'm doing great, thanks for asking. What can I help you with? Okay Google, bye bye. You know where to find me. Okay, so this is it about this video. I hope you get the idea on how to make our own Google Assistant run on the Raspberry Pi board just like in the AI web voice kit. If you find this video useful, do give a big thumbs up. Subscribe my channel if you haven't to learn more interesting projects regarding automation, IoT and electronics. So wait for my next project until then explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.